In this step, we want to test the MyMathSum method. So what we want to do is we want to call the MyMathSum method. So the MyMath has the method called sum. What we want to do initially is we would want to call it with a simple scenario. Let's say I would want to call it with an input three. I mean with uh, three numbers, one, two, three, and check whether the sum is six. So let's do that right now. So how do we do that? So I'll call this as sum with three numbers. I'm going to call the sum method with three numbers. So let's do that. So I would want to create an instance of my math first. So my math, I just press control space bar. Now I can import that. So you would now see that my math, we are in the same package. It does not need to be imported. My math is equal to new my math. Now I would want to call this sum method. So my math dot sum. So I would want to call the my math uh, sum with three numbers. So I'll create an int array. So new int array. How, what are the numbers that should be there? One, two, three. Right. So let's just do a sysout. Let's control space. Sysout this. Let's see what's being printed. The way you can run this is by saying right click, run as JUnit test. Anything with an add test annotation would be run as a JUnit test. So this is succeeding. The important thing for us is what's in the output. Absence of failure is success. So how do I check that result of this is six? How do I check that? So now let's create a small variable. So I'll call this result. So result is equal to this. I would want to check now. I would want to check that the result is six. How do I do that? So what we want to do is we want to check that result is six. That's where the JUnit assert comes into picture. So if you type in assert equals, assert equals is one of the important methods which is present in JUnit. So if you type in assert equals, the assert equals can check whether the expected and the actual values are the same. So the expected value is on the left hand side. So I'm expecting it to be six. So I'm expecting the actual value is on the result. I'm expecting result to be six. So let's see what would happen now. Okay, cool. This is six. So if let's say there was a mistake, I was actually expecting a five. What would happen? Uh -huh. It's saying JUnit is saying assertion error, expected five, but was six. And if you double click the line, it would even take you to the exact one. So this is what JUnit framework is used for. You can write tests around it. So now I've tested with three numbers. So I'll also do a few other test cases. So I'll copy this and now say sum new int, let's say with just one number. So if I call it with one number, what should be the result? So instead of with one number, just three, what should be the result? The result should be three. Run as JUnit test success. Cool. Let's say there was some bug which is introduced in here and somebody instead of writing sum had written sum plus 20. So some, somebody was coding this method and they made a change here. Let's see what happens to the test if you run it right now. Aha, the test starts failing. This test says I'm expecting three, but the result is 23. This is what would happen when J units are continuously run. Let's say some one of your projects made made a mistake in the implementation of your method. So you have implemented the method, you wrote the test, and later your friend or your project mate is changing your code and he introduced a bug. What happens when we run JUnits continuously is that the JUnit would find the bug and the test would start failing. And now you can actually go ahead and start fixing the test. So you go ahead and fix the test and run it and the test succeeds, that's perfect. One imp small improvement that we can do in here is instead of creating an instance of my math in every test, I can create one common instance. And now I can actually right click run as JNIT test. It succeeds. And the other thing is I can also inline this variable. So why do I need to create a variable called result? I can directly call the method in here. Shortcut is Alt Shift I and inline and Alt Shift I inline. Oops, I should do it here. That's it. So this is very simple JUnit to check whether our math sum method is working fine. So in this step, 
we wrote a simple unit test to check whether our sum is working fine. 